Hey guys, I'm Chris Norwood. I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded, and we got some Weezer news. Uh, you know, it's been, they are taking a little bit of time off, it seems, from uh, a little bit of time in between seasons and their next project, which is possibly a, a Broadway musical themed album that I'm writing or you're writing. We got to see. I'm going to. I'm going to see. Maybe if yours is better than mine, Rivers will uh, pick you. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but right now we're looking at Consequence of, a sa of Sound. Um, a lot of all the news places get these stories eventually, but this is the one I saw first. So shout out to Consequence Sound. Consequence.net. We'll call them that. Uh, the headline grabbed my attention on my mobile device. Um, Maybe the whole thing would be more impactful if we could go back in time and just release the best stuff. Now, he doesn't name any albums or songs that it's not the best, but this worries me a little bit. Um, I am a, a huge Weezer fan. They are my 17th or 18th favorite band artist of all time. And um, I like almost the entire catalog, but I know that I'm different than everybody. If you've seen my ranking videos, um, I like some of the albums that people hate. Like I know Red Album, people don't like, and Ratitude gets a lot of hate. I like Ratitude. Uh, the Weezer albums that I hate are, or I don't hate any of them. Uh, I apologize. My least favorite Weezer records are, without a doubt, Pacific Nightmare is at the bottom. Uh, that album makes me physically nauseous. Physically sick to hear it. It's got some, it's got one or two songs that are, it's got Get Right. I think Get Right is all right. Everything else is horrific. Um, and Black Album has a lot that I don't enjoy. Maybe half of Black Album is pretty good, but I'm worried. I don't. I, I hope that Rivers Cuomo doesn't know how to travel in time, because if he gets rid of like Red or Ratitude or Hurley, I'd be pretty upset. But let's just read this article, uh, written by Abby Jones, May the twelfth at twelve thirty-eight, whatever time. Considering they have fifteen full-length albums under their belt. We wouldn't argue if you said Weezer sometimes valued quantity over quality. And neither's, neither's would rever Cuomo. Speaking with Flea on this little light, this is crazy, Red Hot Chili Peppers are one of my favorite bands too. Uh, on this little light podcast, Cuomo admitted he thinks his band might have too much music in recent years. Yeah, they really haven't, you know, they've been churning them out lately. Um, I think if we go back and plan out the ideal artist career, I don't know. Maybe there's too much quantity, Cuomo said with Flea uh, asking how he felt about Weezer's mammoth discography. Maybe the whole thing would be more impactful if we could go back in time and just release the best stuff, cherry pick, and release it in a very strategic way. Now, maybe the, maybe the strategy, maybe the record company didn't... Uh, you know, schedule and strategize the right way. Uh, but hindsight, 2020, and hopefully future generations will sort out it all and they'll focus on the best stuff. We do that already with streaming, and we buy the ones we like, and we don't buy the ones we don't like. I actually buy the ones I don't like, too, for the collection. For You know, I buy albums I don't like. Um, Cuomo... Didn't name drop any albums, but um, uh, let's see. Oh, that, so this place definitely has their own nominees. Uh, but it looks like moving forward, he's going to be trying to be clued in to what longtime Weezer listeners actually want to hear. Um, I know there's been a big Weezer thing, right, where fans seem like they're not happy, or I think maybe the average or or the, the popular consensus among us is that it's like every other album or maybe that uh, 
you know, like a certain period was pretty bad. Um, actually, a Weezer album that I'm not crazy about that everybody else kind of is, is Maladroit. Uh, that's, yeah, Maladroit, Pacific Daydream, and Black Album are the only ones I really just like, I don't, I don't enjoy a whole lot. Um, but all the other albums I find perfect. That's right. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Ratitude is perfect. And Maladroit is not. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're focusing in on what fans want, which is good. You know, um, some people would argue that's not artistic, but I think it's part of it. Um, I really want to listen to what fans, uh, where their heads are at. And um, sometimes it's not exactly on the same page as him, he says. Um, but he does say that, that he wants Weezer to evolve slowly, which is a little bit... Yeah. Weezer, I think Rivers has said like the band is going to retire at a certain point. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how much time left we have with Weezer. Uh, so there is like this big interview with him and Flea. Um, uh, he's apparently crowdsourcing ideas for the upcoming musical that will serve as Weezer's next studio album. In the meantime, Weezer are preparing for their star-studded indie rock road trip next month, uh, where you can grab your tickets at StubHub. That's what Consequence of Sound, Consequence Sound is saying. Um, StubHub, that just sounds weird and cool um you can get deals on the tickets and yeah that is the really there's some there's some uh stink bug there is a stink bug and uh that is it uh, i just wanted to cover this weezer story because like i said they're they're tied they're almost tied with the offspring um weezer just beat out the offspring and we do have an offspring story coming up soon so stay tuned for that um, I am on a journey to hear every song ever recorded, and Weezer, I've heard a lot of music, and Weezer have come out at the number 17th, 18th spot, so stay tuned for more Weezer news. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys maybe with glasses and a shirt on next time. Thank you.